What? I mean, just, okay, just hear me out, hear me out. I don't want to sound insane, but the giants are the only ones that dealt with this, sort of. At least, the one giant did. It's insanity to even try and speak with them. I mean, I don't know if you guys ever have, but what other option do we have? Genesis doesn't know about it, and he's, he's ancient. He's the oldest person that I know, and he has never seen this before. Never dealt with this type of illness, he doesn't know how to heal it. And he just brought back, like, like almost a thousand desert thieves. Just, hear me out. The, the giants are, are dangerous, you say, sure. But we've dealt with dangers before, right? We've actually dealt with one giant before. We've dealt with the last inferno. You, you have the heart of winter, so I don't know if that will be of any actual aid, but we have it. You saw the giants before. You know how dangerous they can be. I, I, I know that they can... I know they can be dangerous, and if one actually were to fight back, I'm not sure if we could... I'm not sure if we could handle that, but just they are the only ones that had a member of their ranks that had to deal with it with an infection like that, a corruption like that. And, well, they're the closest ones to knowing knowing what the source is. I mean, are you willing to take that chance? I mean, what other option do we have? We can't leave the winter leader in this pen for well forever. We need to somehow fix this before other people find out. I agree. And you got you guys have the horses. You say they are always outside of the walls, so so what what if we take some of the horses and and we we wait on them? The horses are equally fast or faster even than the giants. So with a bit of luck, if they do come chasing us, we can we can just simply outrun them and hopefully with a bit of lightning, if we have to deter them. I I really hope it doesn't have to come to that, but I think we should I think we should do that. Huh. Okay, and I'll I'll do the talking. Don't worry, I'll, I'll take the risk. You can just. I just need somebody there who, well, knows them a little better. I don't want them to freak out at seeing me. But we need some rest. And then we can go next evening. Not now. Yeah, you're right. We should also... We should inform someone else about this, right? Like, we, can, we, we can't have it just be you, me... Well, and, well, Genesis knew, but he just left. Somebody else needs to know. Who else? There's, there's no, like, apprentice or anything you guys have here. The closest is you. Who do you suggest? I mean, we can either go back to the desert village, tell somebody there, or... Well, I can't go to the Red Kingdom. I don't know, I don't know if any of those people should know. Maybe maybe if something wrong, we should have somebody who's a little closer than that. Hmm. What about the Obsidian Steves? We, we, can, we can tell one of them, right? Like, they're in the they're in the village. Oh, yeah. They're pretty good fighters. If, if something does come down and we're being chased by a giant and we run back to the walls, they can jump out and help us. At least I hope so. Hmm. Because the... the I don't know. We need, I'm just saying that we need some type of backup. I'm pretty sure the leader is still at that place. We can ask the obsidian captain. He's staying here. Wait, he's actually staying here? Oh, right. Is he? Is he the one helping with the walls? Oh, that is that is smart. That, that might actually be our best option. Yeah. Hmm. In that case, I, I think that's a good idea. We should we should go talk to the obsidian captain, and then well, we have somebody who can have our backs if any of this goes wrong. Also, we should make sure to close the door behind us. Maybe though. Good idea, but maybe uh, I'm, I, I, we need to deal with this, but he's looking worse. But if the giant truly comes after us, I don't know if I can handle much more today. I, this day started with fighting the lost inferno and then I met all the colored steves and Genesis and the desert steves and now this. There's just a lot that happened and I don't, I don't want to risk anything. If, if the giant attacks, I, I, I need to be able to fight. I understand. Uh, do you mind? Can I crash on your couch or something? I don't know if you have an additional bed somewhere in your house, but I need somewhere to sleep and I don't have a house here. Of course. Great. Thank you. And then in the morning, we'll talk with the obsidian captain. Up this wall, huh? Hmm. Great. Uh, yeah, just this one actually has stairs. The other one just had a ladder. Yeah. Great. All right. Wow, you can see pretty far from here. Uh, is he all the way up top? I'm assuming so. Uh, not over here. Oh, hey, Obsidian Captain, um, I wanted to talk to you. It's good to see that you're doing okay again. I was afraid that, well, you did have a building fall on you. Hello, Cole. Winter Steve. Hi. Uh, you don't really know what's happening with everything, right? Nothing but a mere flesh wound. Sure, it was an entire building. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of concerned, but if you say that you're fine, I'm going to trust that you're, well, you're fine. Do, do, do you have any idea of what's happening with the, well... With the winter leader and with, uh, well, everything with his case. Because he's been inside of his house for a while and that has a reason, but I'm not sure. I don't think you've been informed. I have no clue. 
Never been sick. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Well, he is ill. So what we did is Winter Steve came looking for my help. And well, I'm, I'm not much of a healer, but I knew one. So uh, we brought Genesis Steve here, the, the creator of the forest and desert and ocean Steve's. Uh, he's a pretty good healer. And he took a look at it and he was like, yeah, no, I can't do that. And then he just kind of left because... Well, this, whatever this illness is, is far beyond them. And well, it's good that you said that you were never sick. So I think it's it's wise that we uh, we trust you with this information. I physically cannot get sick. I have no experience or knowledge in that field. Well, luckily we're not asking you for any help with the illness specifically, because well, we have an idea of where the illness might have come from way back when. The Winter Leader, well, he has a, a kind of odd corruption around his eyes. It's not really your typical sickness. No, it is not. It's, it's a bunch of purple stuff around the eyes and... Well, it is rare, but I have seen it once before. Okay, hmm. We, uh... A while ago, when Winter Steve and I were retrieving the Heart of Winter, we fought this giant that I encountered in the D Diamond Street stronghold. Whenever I was going there to, you know... You remember back when, when the, well, the Diamond Steve ghosts were still a problem and trying to escape? And it had the same corruption? It did. Much larger, of course, and it was a little bit worse, and I don't know. It, it seemed to have taken him over to the point that I, I don't think if any of the giant's choices were his own at that point. To be expected, it's quite large. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, the Winter Leader is currently suffering from the same thing, so... We, well, we asked Genesis, and he hadn't seen it before, and, well, you told me that just now that you have no idea what it is, so even though the giant was closer to the Obsidian Steves, you guys have no idea what it is. So you think maybe it was somehow transferred? Maybe. I'm not sure if that might have been from the Heart of Winter or I don't know. The Heart of, we've both you've both you've carried the Heart of Winter and then didn't cause anything to you. Yeah, exactly. But it was down underground. And well, I've been there, but I haven't gotten it. But the Winter Leader went down there, and well, after that he f he f fell ill sometime. So I'm not sure whether or not it where it came from. But first we have to find out what it is before we can find out where it came from, because we have no idea. And, well, it might be a bad idea, but Winter Steve and I, or, well, maybe more just I, thought that, well, the giants come by pretty often, I heard. They kind of, like, keep checking up on the Winter Village. And, uh, well, one of them was corrupted before, so I was thinking, what if we ask the giants? Oh, you're gonna ask them, aren't you? I mean, yeah, that that is the basic idea. Winter Steve is not a big fan of it. I mean, okay. I, I, I just wanted to, we just needed to tell somebody about the Winter Leader and because he, he says to stay in his house and somebody opened up the door last time. And well, Winter Steve and I are going to be out there and it, it, just in case, because the Winter Steves all think that the giants are all aggressive and stuff and try to eat them. If anything happens and this giant attacks, attacks us, I, I want you to be ready to, you know, kind of, Jump in. I can keep an eye on him. And I'll make sure that you stay safe out there. Yeah. Winter Steve, I think it's wise if we... I already said that. If we're on horseback, because then we can outrun them. But worst case scenario, we'll go out there to see if we can meet them. And then if they do chase us, we'll come back to the walls as quickly as possible. At which point we would need you to jump in. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds good. All right, great. Well, and uh, if we don't come back, please just take care of the uh, the Winter Leader for a bit. If you can't be corrupted, as long as the Winter Steve doesn't do it, you know, it can't, it can't spread. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. We're gonna uh, prepare for tonight. Just, you know, thanks for uh, for the help and, well, for everything you've done up, uh, up until now. Good luck. Thank you, Obsidian Captain. Come on, Winter Steve. <sighs> I don't know, Winter Steve. The night's almost over and no, there's no giants shown up yet. Are we too too far away from the village? Is that it? Or, or, or too close to it? Let's just keep waiting for a little bit. I, I guess there's nothing much better we can do anyways. So, these giants, huh? They, uh, they, they attack you guys? They're, like, often? Because you guys, well, you went to the point to even build a wall. Uh, what do they... What is you guys' relationship like with them? Well, what's that to say? Well, a bunch, probably. We hate each other. And the giant eats Winter Steve's. Really? Why would they eat Winter Steve's? They're all like snowy. Have you have you ever seen one like eat one? We've seen Winter Steve's be taken, but never actually, y you know. So you've never so okay. So you're saying that they eat you, but they you haven't seen that happen. What else could they be doing? Well, I don't know. Maybe you know capturing you or trying to you know get you away from your people so you can't call in reinforcement to hurt them. But, I'm just, I'm just saying that if you've never seen it happen, how do you know that they eat Winter Steve's? It's just 
I think, you know, if you have never seen it, they're not, they might not actually be that bad. My people always assumed they were evil. That's why we attacked. So you attacked first, is what you're saying. Every time you see them, you just attack them because you don't want them to attack first. Yeah. Do you realize that they might not actually be the bad guys in that situation? I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that, you know, the giants are not bad. I'm just saying that if you keep attacking them, they might, you know, start doing something to you. Destroying Winter Steves. Capturing them and destroying them somewhere else or, or actually eating them. I don't know. I, I'm just saying that it might not be the, well, the wisest choice for you guys to attack them always. Huh. I understand that, you know, they're scary, they're big, they might sometimes even be aggressive, but I don't know if it's necessarily the best option to attack them, always. Anyways, I don't know if they're going to be showing up, we might as well, might as well turn back now, we've, we've been out here all night. Because there's really no reason just to stay, oh, hold up, did you see that? Oh, there's one. Is that one? I mean, you shouldn't be asking me, I should be asking you. You're the one who knows more about giants, this one looks similar. But doesn't have the same infection around it. Okay, s stay on guard. Stay back a little bit. We're pretty obvious here with the lights. Hi! Hi, I'm I'm Cole. Uh, this is Winter Steve. We, uh, we want to talk to you. Do you even... Can you understand what I'm saying? Do you speak... Do you even speak our language? Do you... Do, we just want to talk about something. Talk about what? 